What up? Jeff here with all my Bitcoin renegades. And today we're doing a video on AMP crypto and its explosive nature to, um, you know, end out the year. What is AMP going to finish out the year like? Is AMP going to skyrocket before the end of the year? Is it going to blast off and then go sideways a little bit until the end of the year? And then after the end of the year, just go parabolic in January? Um, these are the things that we're going to talk about today on Bitcoin Decoded with Jeff. We haven't done that in a while. We're going to start doing those again. Um, we're going to start having weekly news episodic series, whether it be ICP or not. I think that's a really good idea to do a recap of the week ahead or a week, the weekend behind and a outlook on the week ahead. So that's what we're going to be doing. Today is good old Monday. So happy beginning of the week. Everything is actually looking pretty good in crypto today. Um, besides Bitcoin, still at its $48,000 level, but we'll get into that. Um, but look at AMP. AMP is doing really good. It actually has held its value really well compared to a lot of the others during this gigantic dip. Um, we went from 649 all the way down to 480 yesterday. Then it would have been a beautiful buy-in price. Like always, you know these good buy-in prices like anything under four, or I mean under five, like four to 410. Uh, basically 499 to 410. Those are the good buy-in prices for AMP right now in a bull market. Not in a bear market. In a bear market, it'll go down to like two cents. But for right now, and having it be able to go all the way up to the seven, nine, and even 12 cent levels again are not too far out of the picture for the end of this bull market. I know a lot of you have got bearish in the last few days. I'm here to just tell you to calm down. I was bearish too. You, you get bearish. Go in the shower, man. Take a cold shower. And you wash, wash that negativity off like this. Just kind of come on, brush your shoulders off. You know what I mean? Just get rid of that negativity. Start fresh on a new day. I was even like, man, if this doesn't continue, uh, quit for the next couple of days, I'm just going to not look at crypto for like two, three, four, five days. It's hard to do because I make crypto videos every day. So basically, I have to look at crypto every day. But I don't have to get all caught up in it, you know, and like all invested and like, oh man, you know, just all bummed out. Like when I get bummed out, I'm just taking a step back and I can do that and still make videos. I'll just basically not worry about my stuff and just, you know, know what the end of the market is going to look like. We're going to have a massive pump with Bitcoin and then we're going to have a massive altcoin season before the end. What are they trying to do right now? This is a major shakeout. Now that you have the rich people in crypto, more of them, the mainstream rich, they are going to control crypto a lot more and it's going to get a lot more volatile and crazy price swings up and down. I know we've had those a lot, but it's going to get crazy when the normal money gets in because look at the stock market, how the rich control the price and the poor or the middle class ride the waves. So that's the thing about this is we just got to learn how to ride those waves until you become rich and you can start the waves. Now, that is what my videos are good and we'll go into AMP and show you how to do that. Now, what you would have done is you would have had a buy order set at 480 or 482 actually because you don't want it at 480. If it goes to 480, it might not even um, actually have your order go through. You wanted to set it at 482. That way you can do it on Coinbase Pro, set a limit order over at 482, and then as soon as it wicks down and touches your price, kaboom. Now the only problem with that is if it keeps going down, you bought on a downward slope. The good part about that is 480, it's not really going to stay lower than that for very long. So whether it goes down after you buy it or if it just, you know, V-shapes recoveries after you bought it, you're going to be in at a good price. That's the thing about putting those limit orders on Coinbase Pro. Now, I cannot do a video about that because the security purpose is over there, but I might be able on the live stream to show you on my phone exactly what I do. And I'm going to do it in a way that doesn't compromise the security. That way I, you know, watch Coinbase pros back, but I'm able to show you guys how to set a limit order and I'm not going to do it with an actual order that I'm going to put in. I'm just going to do a for instance so that I can show you guys that way. It's not 
uh, risky the security, but then I can show you how to set those limit orders. That way, as soon as some crypto, even if you're sleeping, if you're doing, if you're busy, if you're working and it goes down to your price, that order will go immediately through. And then you go back later and you're like, Hey, did that go through? And you're like, Oh man, it dumped, man. It went to 440. But then in a day or two, it'll be above 480 again. So you'd be okay. Even if it did that, even though right here, it didn't. Right? So you got to plan ahead. It's like playing chess, not checkers. You got to plan two, three, four moves ahead. You know, in case this happens, we do this. In case this happens, we do this, this, and this. And you plan. You literally plan moves ahead just in case. Just like when we tell you, well, it could go up. It could go sideways or it could go down. And this is what you look for for each of those. And you're like, well, you're just telling us every scenario. No, we're telling you to watch those levels. And if something happens, then that scenario will play out. That's how you do TA and stuff like that. So AMP is looking good. I say you set those limit orders. Even at five would be okay. Not financial advice, entertainment purpose, only common sense. But let's go and see where you would sell it at. So if you got in at 480, you're in it to make a profit, right? Where are we selling? That's one thing we're going to get into more in these videos because it seems like maybe my audience, um, not my core audience, but maybe some of my audience, um, because I'm not showing you when to sell, you're not selling for profits. So I'm really going to put this in your mind. Don't sell when you're at a loss, but when you're in profits, don't be greedy and be like, well, I want a million dollar profit. I'm not selling yet. Well, eventually you'll get there, but you have to keep taking profits. You can never make it to a million dollars getting a loss every time. Now you might think, well, I can't, you know, make it to a million dollars only when in 200 every time. Yeah, but if you get 200 every time, you're used to taking your profits, so you're not losing. So when that 1 million or 100,000, you know, order comes through and you make a ton of money, you'll be prepared to take those profits. You won't be like, oh, wait, I'm going to wait for another million. I'm going to wait. And then you lose all of it. But instead, because you're like, what did we do with the smaller orders? We took our profits, right? Okay, we're in uh, the profit of a million. If I wait, I can make another million. But if I waited, I also could lose the whole million. What do we do? Take your profits. Because <laughs> you got to. You got to take those profits. You can never become successful unless you take your profits. That is the whole point of crypto. Yeah, we want to be diamond hands strong. Yeah, that means don't sell in a loss. Diamond hands doesn't mean that once you get a, a million dollar profit, you got to hold strong. No, you take that million dollars, you sell it, and then you wait for that thing to go back down and you turn that into 10 million. <laughs> like for real, man. So that is just, you know, my strategy, what I do. And for AMP, it'll work perfectly, especially if you can ride it at 480, sell it at 780, 880, you know, even a new all time high. Let's go to 15 cents before the end of the bull market type deal. You know what I mean? Because AMP has really good traction, really good. It's a pr good project. It has a $2.3 billion market cap. Um, that's kind of small for it right now, but we're at 50-50 right now, man. They don't know whether to buy or sell right now. I'm telling you, that's the market. Nobody knows what's happening. That is not a bull market scenario. This is a, uh, or a bear market scenario. This is a bull market thing. When it's 50-50 and they're hitting heads, that's not a, a bear market. That is definitely still a bull market. We're deciding what to do. And unfortunately, um, you know, things like this um, suffer in the, the short term. But you can use that for your advantage by buying it at 480 and watching these nice little pumps up here. Now, if I bought 480, would I sell a 537 pump? Probably not. But I would wait and see how much higher that it went. And if it did go much higher, like to 550 or something, and I can make a nice profit and see it starting to, you know, retrace, then I might even sell it and buy back in and make more. That's how you do it. You take your profits, you get in, you buy at lower levels, dollar cost average in. Or if you could buy this at four cents all the way down at 410, when is the last time it went down to 410? I mean, we're talking months. 
So if you could get anything under 410, you you're not even obligated to sell it until like the end of the bull market because after the end of the bull market if you bought it 410 um or that price around thinking it's going to be your saving grace, well it will until the end of the bull market, but then when we lose 90% of the profits in the bear market, it is um going to be a wise time to get out of that before that happens. As you see AMP is still rising as we speak. Great purchase. Um good crypto and I'm going to continue to follow this. So if you haven't considered smashing that like button, um subscribe to the channel if you want more up-to-date news on AMP, the price targets you want to get in, the price targets you want to get out and how to make those profitable trades. We go through all of that on the channel. I'm going to have more selling videos so that we get it in your guys' head to learn how to take those profits and maximize your uh returns. All right, that being said, you know what time it is. Goodbye and good Bitcoin. Bang!